So this is a, uh, a float switch is what they call it in short. I bought this from Rain Brothers. Thank you again. Um, basically, it's a 15 amp, so 140 degree angle. It can go in the maximum. So in other words, I would tether it four inches to get eight inches of pumping range. So in other words, I'm probably at it now. So what it normally does, is it sits in there and floats. Now, watch what happens. And it might take a minute. So it's gonna take a couple minutes. So that turns it on. So when the water goes down, this will turn on. Once it goes down, it, it's called a normally off float switch. And once it goes on, the way it goes on is when the float goes down. So think of a toilet bowl. When the float goes down, it fills back up. So basically, until that floats back to the top, then it shuts off. We have it wired into here. So far I found where it needs to be wired. It's going to take two minutes to come from the other end. So basically, and we just hook this on as a, uh, to stop it from back flushing, back flowing that way. So here. So basically it's working as intended now. So this will be the automated process. We could drop three inches, three to three to four inches, and then it'll fill it back up. So basically that I showed you how it works when it turns it on. So that turned on the pump down. Now, if I lay it back like this, let me give it some more slack. And I have it rigged up on one of these pipes in there, which is kind of cute. So. <laughs> And I'm using zip ties in there. So basically, that should shut it off. Just like that. So to stop it from doing that, it's because of getting air. I gotta put another check valve down there at the well, at the well head area. So basically, yeah, this is this is gonna work as it needs to. So as you've seen, when the float switch goes down, it kicks it on, it tells the pump down there, hey, I need water. And when it gets to the certain level, it kicks it off, is when it's kind of like flush perpendicular to the water, as you can see in there. The float switch is right there. Can you see it? So that's how all that works. And basically, I drilled a hole, put silicone here. I'll end up moving this wire and all that, routing the wire, so it's stapled against this and stapled against that. So. Cool. Yeah, so it'll be automatic, but we have to monitor it first. I mean, honestly, I can go out there and pressure wash something right now, mm -hmm. or run a lot of water out. Just to watch it. Yeah, that'd so, be a good idea. This, so we can uh, test it out, make sure it's working properly, which I think it would. Yeah, it seems to. <clears throat> because I'm setting it at the level I want on the off position. So how this was hooked was well, this is going to be the new line coming in. This is all only testing. You can tell it's not drawing. 0.21 is what it ended with for wattage at the end. But when it kicks on, you can watch that thing kick on. It'll get up to 400 watts. And that's nothing compared to 2,000 watts that they wanted to sell us. And rack our energy uh, electric bill up. <laughs> so, and who's they? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I won't recommend them. So, yeah, it's off. As you can tell right there, because it's not drawing. 
So I could go out there and run water then we'll report back on the test right when it kicks on. Here's where we're emptying it out into one of the rain barrels so that way we don't waste any of the water and we'll soon use the cistern tank to capture more water as we're emptying out the big cistern tank inside the, the cabin. Doing a lot of testing right now. You haven't even heard the cistern pump kick on because it has 30 gallons to empty out, which is this. And it, once it drops down to 40, it tells the cistern pump to kick on, which it should here shortly. And that's the float switch, so, which is now hooked up. And I kind of uh, swapped this up a little bit, so that way I got a 90 here and so on and so forth in a valve. What we're doing is waiting to watch the water levels. So you saw the cistern pump kick on. And we're waiting for the water levels to go down. So basically enough to where that kicks on and tells the pump over 1200 feet away, which I have it hooked up here for testing. And we'll be able to see when it starts drawing. So actually, watts right there so we'd be able to see how much wattage it pulls so this is going to take a long time actually so to empty out enough to be able to kick that on that might help speed up the process and the way to do that is open up another valve but it takes all the pressure out so might not do that. Um, I, I'm glad I'm allowed to do a recording. Sorry, I was talking to nobody but me. Anyways, see what I mean? She always thinks I talk to her when she knows darn well I'll talk to her whenever I can. Yeah, well, the funny thing is, this thing keeps us pressurized always above 30. Because you got a valve wide open. And that's good. So, 32, 34. So, yeah, you can. Uh, we can test it by shutting it off. So you can shut that off. <laughs> it hasn't moved down much, so. No. Uh, you might want to shut it off there, baby doll. Okay, yeah, we'll shut it off. And we'll test it by just. You might want to make it shorter, so it's going to go like All right, how many gallons? 68.9. 68.9 gallons. It basically used uh, almost 70 gallons of water. And we saw, I saw this go on after I heard that go on, which was about, go on about one minute ago. Right now it's pumping the water automatically. I haven't even touched the switch, nothing. So it's working as intended. So we can use 70 gallons. Now what we got to do is gauge it from how long it's gonna take until the switch turns back off, which is floating basically, so as you can see there. And I believe it'll go up until where it says US patent, somewhere around the E on the patent is about level. So we'll see. We'll see how well it works. So yeah. So far, so good. Hi, yeah, happy days. <laughs> so it's automated now, Yay. for the most part. So, let me leave this cracked. 
now we got to gauge it how long it's going to take. So we got everything put together. Got the wire there. So basically the float switch is going to be the little guy that talks to the pump down there at in the well. So basically this is working. We have about 44 inches of water. That's 88 inches in diameter. Um, I think it's 50. We could actually technically go all the way up to here for water. So, I mean, I have Teflon tape there and all that good jazz. So you can see, we have everything all hooked up in here. So basically the float switch will kick on when it drops down, which sends a signal to there, to the controller for the pump. The pump down there will talk, will, will only talk to this. So basically that float switch is talking to it. Then when it goes on, it draws only about 450 watts max. Uh, there's sometimes it peaked up a little higher, but that's gaining pressure. Other than that, everything's working automate on automatic so i had the water level which is about right here which is about 12 inches eight at nine ten ten inches or so from the top so other than that everything is working as intended for automation so hold at 60 psi we're sitting at 60 a little under because she's taking a shower uh about 58 psi right now other than that, things are automated.